All right, in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 27. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with nine to the power of x is equal to 27. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite nine here as three to the power of two. So now I have three to the power of two to the power of x. And this is equal to 27. Now, three to the power of one, that's equal to three. Three to the power of two, that's equal to nine. Three to the power of three, this is gonna equal nine times three because as the exponent goes up, um, the result is multiplied by three. That's how powers of three works. So three to the power of three, that's gonna equal nine times three, which is 27. So I can rewrite 27 here as three to the power of three. So now I have three to the power of two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of three. Now, if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of x that's gonna equal three to the power of two times x, which is simply just three to the power of two x. And this is equal to three to the power of three. So now what I'm gonna do, or sorry, now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, these two exponents equal each other. So 2x is equal to 3. Now to solve this equation, all I have to do is divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. And I'll have x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. Now to check, First start with nine to the power of x is equal to 27. So x is equal to three over two. So now I have nine to the power of three over two is equal to 27. Now nine to the power of three over two, this is the same thing as nine to the power of three squared, or sorry, the square root of nine to the power of three. Now nine to the power of three 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9, that's going to be 729. So I have the square root of 729. And the square root of 729 is 27. So I have 27 is equal to 27. And because this is right, my solution is right. All right, so for this problem, I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log six to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, log six to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So that's gonna equal x times log six, which is equal to log 12. Now to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. These two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 12 over log 6. Now log 12, that's the same thing as log 6 times 2. Now I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log six times two, I can write as log six plus log two. Now I have this over log six. Now log six plus log two over log six, this is the same thing as log six over log six plus log two 
over log six. Now log six and log six, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to one plus log two over log six. And log two, or sorry, log six over here, I can write as log two times three. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna read this as log two over log two plus log three. And again, if I expand it, I get one plus log two over log two plus log two over log three. Log two and log two, those two cancel out. So I have x is equal to two plus log two, that's equal to 0 0.301 over log three, that's equal to 0 0.47. So if you simplify this, you get x is equal to 1.3868. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus one is equal to x minus one squared. So I wanna find the value of x here. So to start, my solution, first start with x squared minus one is equal to x minus one squared. Now I'm gonna go ahead and expand x minus one squared. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, or sorry, I'm actually going to expand x squared minus one. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, x squared minus one, one is the same thing as one squared. So a is equal to x and b is equal to one. So now I have x plus one times x minus one, which is equal to x minus one squared. Now, if I subtract x minus one, I get x plus one times x minus one minus, sorry, if I subtract x minus one squared, minus x minus one squared is equal to zero. Now x minus one squared, that's the same thing as x minus one times x minus one. Now, if I factor out x minus one from this, I get x minus one times x plus one, x plus one, sorry, not times, minus x minus one. This is equal to zero. Now this is equal to x plus one minus x plus one. and which is equal to these two x's cancel out. So all I'm left with is one plus one, which is two. So I have x minus one times two is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I'm gonna have to distribute the two. So two times x is two x and two times negative one is negative two. So I have two x minus two is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I simply add two on both sides so you cancel out and I have two X is equal to two. Now from here, all I have to do is divide both sides by two. These two cancel out and I am left with X is equal to two divided by two, which is one. So this is my answer.